Hello, everybody. I want to take a moment to thank the Gathering of Nations for the outstanding work you're doing on behalf of the American Indian and Alaska Native communities. I also want to recognize all of the artists, dancers, singers, and spectators who are taking part in the 27th Annual Gathering of Nations powwow. Native Americans, the first Americans, have always been a rich and vibrant part of our national heritage. And that's why last November my administration hosted representatives from 386 nations at the White House Tribal Nations Conference, the largest and most widely attended meeting of tribal leaders in history. Back then I expressed my commitment to build on our nation-to-nation -nation relationship with tribes across the country. And I made it a priority to work with tribal leaders to tackle some of the greatest challenges facing the Native American community as a whole. Together, we've taken positive steps towards change. We listened to you when you told us that improving health care was a major priority for American Indian communities. And that's why last month I was proud to sign a law that will permanently reauthorize the Indian Health Care Improvement Act and make important improvements to the Indian health system. To make sure your voices remain heard, I appointed Kimberly Teehee to the White House Domestic Policy Council to serve as a direct link between Indian country and the highest levels of my administration. Kim is joined by Jody Gillette from the Office of Intergovernmental Affairs, who works to keep you informed and lets us know about your questions and concerns, managing the nation-to-nation -nation relationship between tribes and the federal government. Although we've made great strides in improving the lives of Native Americans, we have so much more work to do. I want each of you to know that this administration will continue to do our part to move our country and Indian country forward. Thank you all for your commitment. And I wish you a successful powwow.